Well, good morning. Welcome to Friday Morning's Thought for Today. This is a, a passage which we've been looking at not just last Sunday, but also through this week. We're looking at Mark 6, verses 45 to 52, the passage where Jesus walks on the water. Now, yesterday we came across a, a part of the passage which causes difficulty, not just, I'm sure, to some of you, but to myself and to, to many commentators, as they weren't sure quite what was meant when Mark told us, tells us that Jesus meant to, to walk past the disciples. But we know that he didn't walk past them. We know that uh, it might have looked as if he was walking past them, but they shouted out, they cried out in fear uh, because they felt that if, if someone could walk on the water, this must be a ghost. And scholars, uh, people who think they're clever, have tried to disprove this whole thing about Jesus walking in water. For some people, it's just too much and they try to dismiss it and try to say, as I thought about, as we thought about in Sunday, that uh, he was maybe walking on a sandbar, or maybe it was some sort of optical illusion as he walked across on the, the side of the lake, or whatever. But we know that whatever happened, they were still he was still able to get from where he was into this boat, and that 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 would have meant at some stage he would have had to walk across water. So I don't see how people can explain this away. For me, Jesus walked on the water. To the disciples. I'm quite happy to believe what the Bible tells me. And it's written here and I believe it and there's no issue for me. But I, I want to think about very, very briefly today uh, this uh, this thought that we have uh, during, we had it during uh, the whole pandemic and people are still talking about it even though we, we trust and pray we're coming to the end of it where it used to be people said well we're all in the same boat. Um, I've talked about this before. And the question then comes from, hang on, are we really in the same boat? Or surely it's not the case of we're actually all in the same storm, but uh, we're actually in different boats. And I think that's very true for, for so many people. We all have our own stories from the pandemic. We all have our own stories as, as to how it affected or affects us even still today. And so not one of us is the same as everyone else. So you can't in a sense, lump everyone together and say, oh, well, we're all going through the same, uh, we're all in the same situation together. So let's uh, let's just get on with it. For different people, they've been effectively in different boats. Things have been happening to them that haven't happened to others, etc. Now for the disciples, they found themselves in a boat. Uh, they were all in the same boat, but this was their boat. We don't know if anyone else was out on the Sea of Galilee that night. We don't know if there are fishermen who are having trouble. We don't know if there are boats still being tossed about or whether this wind was a very specific wind that was only affecting their boat. But what happens is that Jesus, we read, uh, sorry, uh, let's go back down to verse 49, where it says, But when they saw him walking on the sea, they thought it was a ghost and cried out, for they all saw him and were terrified. But immediately he spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I, do not be afraid. And he got into the boat with them. And the wind ceased. So Jesus, first of all, came, spoke to them, and then he got into the boat. And as he got into the boat, we read that the wind ceased. In other words, the thing that had been causing them so much problem, uh, the, the, the issue was that they couldn't make a headway into this wind. This was their problem. They, they were finding it so hard to actually push, to row against this headwind. This wind was their problem. This wind was then cancelled as Jesus gets into the boat with them. Hopefully you see where I'm going with this. There's a sense that whatever our boat is like, whatever the, the condition of our boat, whatever how, how we view this boat, this in other words, how we're coping with the pandemic, how we're coping with maybe going back into work, going back into business, going back into some sort of normality, whatever the, our boat is at the moment, whatever you're going through, and some of you may be still going through a tough time. There may be even some who are watching this today who are still suffering from it, maybe health-wise, this whole idea of long COVID. Maybe some are suffering from it because even, even now, you're maybe affected by it. But maybe you're also suffered because of the effects of what's happened. Maybe you're suffering from it because of lack of employment or finances, or maybe you're suffering from it because it's affected you and you've lost loved ones. Everyone's in their own boat. But I want to encourage you today, if someone's watching this and you still have not accepted Jesus, I pray that you would, in the same way as the disciples were scared, you might be scared of accepting him because you're, you're just not sure who he is or what's going to happen if you, if you allow Jesus into your life. I want to encourage you today 
to allow Jesus into your boat, into your situation, into whatever it is you're going through. Allow him to come and be part of what you're going through. Now, for the disciples, it meant that the wind that had caused them so much problem was, was gone. This problem of the wind was cancelled. Maybe for you, you need to allow Jesus to step into your boat, into your situation. You need to accept him for who he is and to, to sense that he can bring a change to your life. Maybe it's a change to the way you look at things. Maybe, it's a, it, maybe it will be a supernatural change to the circumstances you're going through. Maybe it's a change in the fact that you've been looking at things the wrong way around and he's given you a different perspective on it. I, I don't know your situation, but if you today are, are finding life tough and it's as if you are in your own boat in this storm, allow Jesus into your boat. Welcome him in and see what difference he can bring to your life. I know my life changed and I know that for, for a lot of the folk watching this video, they could testify as well to the fact that when they allowed Jesus into their life, into their situation, into their, into their boat, things for them began to change. So I want to encourage you today that there is hope. Allow Jesus to take that step over the edge into your boat, be with you, feel the nearness of him, sense his presence with you and welcome him into your life because then you will know a peace that passes understanding. And I trust and pray you, you'll be able to do that over this weekend, even today before the weekend starts. But I trust and pray you'll have a good weekend and that you'll enjoy worshipping and God's presence in whatever church you're part of and that you know a sense of the Lord's uh, presence with you in your own personal circumstances. See you on Monday morning, if not before that, on Sunday in church. Thanks for being with me this week. God bless.